Sherry Farmer, and today is Tuesday, July 15th. Everybody in St. Louis certainly knows that we're celebrating our 250th birthday this year, but did you know that Belleville is celebrating its 200th birthday? The Beach Boys are going to help us out with that, and Anita has the story. Sherry, Belleville is celebrating with events throughout the year, including the Beach Boys on September 19th. It's amazing that Belleville has been right across the river for 200 of our 250 years. But how much do St. Louisans really know about that town? I'm taking a microphone and camera to the U-City Loop to find out. Okay, so tell me three things you know about Belleville. Uh, what's Belleville? Oh, I know nothing about Belleville. No, 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 I don't know anything about Belleville. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about Belleville. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Do you think if I gave you a map, you could try to find where Belleville is on the map? Yeah, actually, I, I think I do know that. I might as well point to a blind spot. <laughs> Belleville is probably like, yeah, it's in Missouri. <laughs> um, right there. I think it's probably over here somewhere. Over there? I'm gonna say Belleville, it's not by, let's say it's up here. Somewhere like over here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I mean, I eventually would have found it, but. St. Louis proudly hosts more than a few festivals, and now we're hosting the Internet Cat Video Festival at the Contemporary Art Museum on July 18th and 19th. For more, here's Cat Muse. Wait a minute. The International Cat video festival is coming to St. Louis. Wait a minute. Uh, you mean I'm doing the story because my name is Kat? Is that what this is about? Seriously? Uh, Ron? Uh, no. Ron? No, Seriously? No, no, no. The no, International no. Cat it's, it's, Video it's story. Festival. Yeah, it, it's because just, my name is Kat. No! Is that all I get? No, the stories no. about, that's why I don't get to do any because no, you've only no, had the first no, one. No, 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 Cat. That's really? No, no, read that. Read that. Read that. At least my name was spelled right. How about that? Here. Read this. Here's another story for you. No, no, no. Tired of this crap. All the time. My name is what? I'm going to change my name to Bud. Because guess what? It would probably work out a lot better. You know what? I'm done. Get out. Why, Kat, no, no, no. Sit, 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 sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Why? Why? Trust me. Why? Why? Just sit down. Believe me. What do I got a story about now? Catnip. Because your name is Cat. <laughs> what? It's not true. Really? It's not true. Really? It's a good story. Really? Just here. Okay. Where is what? It? Oh, okay. Pick one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Convince me. Go ahead. Yeah. It's not because your name is Cat. Oh, well, then what uh, is it? Because your last name is Muse. Come Are on, you sh? Just go to camstl.org slash special events for the information. Here on STL, we feel one of the things that makes a city great is the smell. And well, we think St. Louis has some great smells. You just have to know where to find them. Here's Halea with five places you have to smell in St. Louis. Thanks, Sherry. And here are five places that us at On STL think you should smell. One, the Botanical Gardens Best Missouri Market, which this year is October 4th and 5th. Number two, just walking the streets and smelling all the Italian restaurants on the hill. Three, the Big Shark Bike Shop in the Loop. Four, Emo's Pizza. And five, the Anheuser-Busch Brewery. Of course, these are not the only great smells of St. Louis, and we at Honest TL would like to know what kind of smells you like to smell in St. Louis. Go to our Facebook page, Top St. Louis Everything, and tell us your best smelling choices for St. Louis. Here's a new feature for Hey Lou. It doesn't have a name yet, but maybe it doesn't need a name because it's a restaurant review segment with Ron and Joy. Sherry, over the weekend, Joy and I went to a Moroccan restaurant on South Grand called, uh, what's it called? Baida. B-A-I-D-A. And I liked it. And I had a vegetarian dish that had more vegetables in it than any one dish I've ever had. This is true. Of course, I always order a healthier choice than Ron. Then I have to eat some of his because his is usually better. So that's why I never order what Joy orders. But as vegetarian dishes go, mine was very good. It was just a little better with some of the chicken from his chicken 
tagine. 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 <laughs> but it was definitely different than the international. Um, House of Pancakes? No, the international food festival that yes. we went to. I remember when they had all this food from around the world, and the Moroccan kind of had an Americanized version of a Moroccan. Roll? No, dish. Like Moroccan roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like what they thought we should think yeah. their food tasted right. like, but not what it really tasted but like. But that's not what it tasted like. I would, um, in my opinion, say that it was definitely uh, authentic Moroccan. In fact, they're the only restaurant in, in the area that says they are the first restaurant in the area Moroccan. to serve Moroccan cuisine. Yes, but they yeah. don't serve Moroccan rolls, so you cannot order one. So that's the first thing Joy ordered, of course. Now, you remember the... Um, Alamo. No, <laughs> the International House of Pancakes. Oh, okay, okay. No, the, the last time that we ate Moroccan in St. Louis. They don't Do serve that? Moroccan at IHOP. Sure, they serve everybody. I'm talking about Nico in the loop. I didn't like it. Yeah, well, we did, and we, I mean, we liked Baida. Yes. Baida we liked. Yes. In fact, I give it a fork up. And two forks up. Two forks up. Actually, three forks up, because that they had the, the owner... Um, what was his uh, name? Abdir. Abdir. He came to our table. He was very nice. Very dear. Where's the third fork? in the dishwasher. And that's... The way I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> the music you're hearing on today's show is One More Night from Dan O'Connell. Dan is playing with 40 Miles to Vegas this Saturday at Crystal City Underground, where they open for familiar-looking strangers. Have a great week, St. Louis. One more night.